Hello lads, hope you're well. Uh, today I wanted to talk about a subject that I'd, uh, I think I've listened to a podcast or read something about the other day, but also something that I've actually come into contact with in the last couple of weeks or so, being back at, at uni and stuff like that, just on nights out and things. Um, and that's the topic of, do women like aggressive men? Um, as you can probably tell, I'm not a big, scary, aggressive guy myself. Uh, Baby-faced, very short, um, blonde hair. So I'm certainly not what anyone would call intimidating. Um, so this, to some people, probably seems like a weird topic for me to talk about, but I think it's a topic that not a lot of people really understand because of how loose the word is really in terms of being being aggressive. But I, I put some some points down and I, I, I wanted to, to sort of talk about it. Um, in terms of the question, do women like aggressive men? Yes and no. It depends on the context. Um, we'll go over sort of the no's first because I think these are some of the common misconceptions. Um, this is obviously talking very broadly and different girls like different things, but in terms of not just what women like, but in terms of being an attractive and just a normal human being in general, this is what I sort of try to to, to talk in terms of. Um, with the negatives is aggressive men who one, go out looking for conflict and two, um, are angry. Basically, um, that's not the kind of aggression that most women like. You do get some women, I can't, there is actually a phrase for women who are turned on by violent men, but I can't remember what it is. Uh, but obviously we don't want to be like that anyway. Um, but yeah, men that sort of go out looking for fights, like we've all got those mates, or not necessarily mates, but people we know that sort of, someone gives them, the, gives them an eye across the bar and they're ready to go over and knock them out, or someone who accidentally bump shoulders with them and they're they're ready to fight them like that. That's that's not attractive and that's not just in a, in a guy. It's not something you want as a as a friend. Like we've actually in my group we've had to we had to kick someone out a few years ago because they were like that. Sort of you'd just be standing in a pub and he'd be like that bloke's giving me a weird look. Be like, Man, he's he's probably not even looking at you, but he's fully ready to just fight someone because well, he thinks someone's looked at his girlfriend the wrong way or something like that. And we had, we had to kick him out of our group because you don't want you don't want people like that. And if you are someone like that, which I'll sort of go on to now, like some of you to work on. The second part of what I was saying is, is angry men. Um, that's obviously part of it, but just sort of guys who are who always feel like they've been done wrong or they're always looking for an argument. Um, sort of guys that like I've I've had a boss before, and he's one of those people like if you. You're sat in a restaurant and you'll be having a really nice dinner, and it'll be like, yeah, I'll try and get some money off this. Be like, oh, mate, the food's cold, and start an argument just to get half price or get a free dinner, and it's, it's that's not an attractive trait. No one thinks you're you're hard or you're cool for doing that. Like it's obvious that you just you turned up and you wanted to be a dick, um, which which isn't a good trait at all. Um, it's not an attractive trait, and that kind of aggression is definitely. Um, definitely not good, sort of the violent or angry kind of aggressive. Um, moving on to the more positive side of aggression, um, people who are aggressive in terms of ambition, um, in terms of going after what they want, obviously can be extremely attractive. Um, people who are sort of ambition at the cost of all else, a lot of a lot of sort of very prominent businessmen I can imagine would describe themselves or other people would describe them as aggressive in the sense of they go after what they want relentlessly, they don't let anything get in the way, no excuses. Um, people who are maybe the aggressive in a sporting context in terms of when they're on the rugby pitch or on the football pitch or on the tennis court, they're a different person, their aggressive athlete mentality kicks in and they are just single-minded. Again, that, that can be that can be very attractive. In terms of day-to-day -day sort of aggression, I, I prefer to use the word assertive. Um, I think what can be very attractive, and this is something I've really tried to work on 
over the last few years and something that working in sales will really, really help you with is you'd be amazed how often you get things because you've asked when 99% of people wouldn't ask. For example, I've been an absolute idiot. Um, I applied for a parking permit for where I live, but I got accepted, but didn't pay for it yet, just forgot, and I've been parked out there for two days and got two tickets. Idiot, completely my fault, but I've called them up um, and explained the situation. They've said, look, you might have a case, sort of email it. I'm um, just gonna say, look, hold my hands up, completely my fault, but like, come on, you know, I clearly just made a mistake. Like, you let me off. Yeah, 90% chance they'll probably tell me to do one and I have to pay them. But 99% of people probably wouldn't even bother asking. Um, and there's loads, of, loads of little examples of where being a bit cheeky and just actually asking the question gets you a lot further than you think it will. And again, I wouldn't necessarily call that aggression. I'd say that being more assertive. Um, certainly, learning to say no um, in in terms of that can be can be very like. A lot of people, like, if they get asked if they want to do something, they're like, oh, I don't want to do it, but I have to make up an excuse. I just say, no, I don't want to do it, can be can be quite attractive. I think um, when it comes to sort of aggression and, and, and stuff like that, I think the more important thing, rather than being outwardly aggressive, is almost being uh, inwardly aggressive, which by that I mean, it's just having a backbone. The, mo the most important thing when it comes to being attractive and things like that is having a backbone and never ever tolerating disrespect. And again, that's something I've had to sort of sort out over the last few years. I've never been a particularly confrontational person and like I quite have quite thick skin. I went to, not rough, but I went to a, a, not the best in the world, all boys school, as, as I mentioned earlier, quite a short, skinny blonde kid with not many social skills when I first went to school like I didn't have the best time at school and I had to develop a thick skin and that's that's obviously good which is what you want but at the same time I sort of took that to the next extent where even when I left school and stuff like that I'd let people say things to me that I wasn't happy with but I'd sort of go no turn the other cheek don't start start an argument don't like when actually there there is time I think there is sometimes time for that like, but at the same time, I think also it does, whether you realise it or not, it does chip away at your self-confidence that you're letting people talk to you and treat you like that. When actually, sometimes you have just got to turn around and go, do you know what, I'm actually, I'm not happy with that. Like, don't say that again. Like, that wasn't funny, sort of thing. And actually, just learning that, and what's interesting is, again, nine times out of 10, if you turn around and say that, the person will go, oh, I'm sorry, man, I was only joking. Like, all right, chill out. Like, it's very rare that you'll, you'll have someone turn around and go, oh, what, what are you going to do? Like, that, that is very, like, most people aren't going to turn around and have a fight with you over, over a casual throwaway comment. So, yeah, I think, um, in summary, like I said earlier, th there is no straight answer to this question because, obviously, all women like different things. I, I'm yet to meet a woman who doesn't like a man who's assertive and holds his ground and has a backbone. I think that that those are things that, like you, you you can't compromise on. Um, and I think a lot of people in like red pill or whatever or the manosphere or whatever call them shit tests. But it is true. Like if. You like if you say, "Oh, well, I want to go for Italian," and the girl you're with is like, "Oh, I want to go for Chinese," and you're like, "Fine, we'll go for Chinese." Like, you think you've made her happy, but actually, she's gone. Wow, this guy has no backbone. When actually, if you just went, "No, I'm really in the mood for Italian. We'll go for Chinese another time," she'd probably go, "Yeah, okay, fair enough," and actually have more respect for you if you do that. I've always been quite lucky because I won't go as far as saying I'm autistic, but a lot of my friends would like I have the way I do things and I don't like anyone to change it so inadvertently I've actually always been quite like that in the sense of I do things when I want to do things and I would genuinely 
rather go to a restaurant alone and let all my friends or let everyone else go somewhere else than go to a restaurant I didn't want to go to. So I probably do take it a bit too far. Like, don't be weird about it like I am. Like, if all of your mates want to go to one place, don't be the only one who's not going to go. But, like, in, in general, it's very rare that holding your ground and sticking to your guns will end up being negative. So that that's sort of what I'd, I'd always aim for. And just be confident in, in what you want and what you believe. Don't let people put you down. Don't let people talk to you like crap. And, yeah, the, the main thing is... Uh, I'd get from the whole of this is don't ever let people disrespect you um, and you don't have to go over there and smack them in the face or anything like that but if someone says something that is out of line don't just sit there and swallow it tell them tell them that it's out of line and that you didn't find it funny because like I said nine times out of ten one they'll respect you a little bit more which makes them less likely to do it again and two, they probably didn't even realise they were doing it. So, yeah. But, um, yeah, I'll probably leave it there for that one. Um, appreciate you guys sticking all the way to the end. If you did find it interesting, uh, feel free to drop a like or a subscribe. Comment anything below, as always, if you've got any opinions. Um, tell me I'm right, tell me I'm wrong, whatever. Um, yeah, and I'll catch you in the next one. Until then, take care, lads.